Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies. Oh, it's been a difficult, difficult few weeks for the Wimbly Womblies. You know the phrase, easy peasy, lemon squeezy? Well, to quote one of my favorite movies, this whole situation has been difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. As you can see, we're in eighth place after eight games. We've won four, we've lost three, and drawn one. If we could have just drawn a couple of those games, we'd be in a much better place. I do have a problem. I do have a problem to solve today from Rama, who writes, I despise trying to fall asleep so much that I would rather stay up on my phone until I can barely hold my eyes open so that when I put it down, I fall asleep immediately. When I try to put away my phone earlier, I get so frustrated by laying there that I can start crying. However, my hate of trying to fall asleep has resulted in a horrible sleep pattern. I sleep about four hours a night or less on school nights. Rama, this is a big problem. This is an actual problem. You know, like... We've had a few of those this year, right? There was the person who uh, couldn't figure out where their gerbil was. What was that problem? They killed someone's gerbil. That's what it was. This is a real problem, Rama. And I'm gonna. I, 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 I'm not an expert. You probably should consult with an expert at this point if it if it's really affecting your quality of life and you've come to a point where you feel. Like, you feel a lot of dread every time you try to fall asleep. Like, that's a that's a real problem. And it, it, it does really affect your ability to, uh, like, function in the world. Um, get there. Oh, my gosh. We almost had a first-minute goal. Oh, oh, I feel like that was a foul just because it hurt my feelings so much. So, in my life with having obsessive-compulsive disorder, I have... Uh, found that I do a lot of things to make myself feel better that may make myself feel better in that minute, but that make me worse in the long run. So I might develop a compulsive behavior that's good news for me in the sense that it relieves the like intense, overwhelming anxiety that I have minute to minute. But over time, that coping behavior becomes a big problem. Have I been fouled in the box? I've been unjustly maligned? And there's going to be a penalty kick on that handsome, handsome lad. Jeez, what a great beard. Oh my goodness. Keep showing me close shots. What's his name? Beavers! I don't care that he gave up a penalty. Meredith, write down Beavers. We gotta, we gotta acquire... Wow! Good golly, Miss Molly. Sorry, what were we talking about? Hold on, I gotta take this penalty kick. It's John Green. It's John Green. He loves his family. Oh! Oh, he just tucks it into the bottom of the net. It's magnificent. Magnificent! It is the rugby thing. I don't know why I always do that as a celebration. Oh. Oh, my God. It's just cool as the other side of the pillow. I probably could have kicked it harder, but I didn't. I didn't choose to. I did it nice and slow just to humiliate him. Let's, do, let's watch it again. Dink! Oh, man. That's got to hurt your feelings. Okay. 1-0 to the good guys. I'm feeling good about myself. Right. So I have these un unhealthy compulsive behaviors that I do um, because they make me feel better uh, in the minute. S I don't want to get into details about them because I can't really talk about that stuff without flipping out. So I apologize. But Rama, I think you know what I mean because uh, taking your phone to bed with you and then like being on it until you can't bear to stay awake anymore and it's four hours until you have to get up for school that's i understand why you're doing that but it's not a help helpful behavior right like it's not it's not helping you fall asleep it's not helping you get better sleep there's a lot of there's been a lot of studies about using phones and screens late at night before we try to go to bed and how deeply they interrupt our um, our, our sleep cycle, not least because you're like literally staring into a light. Um, and, but also because, you know, the feed is endless. And if you're on Twitter or Facebook or Reddit or Tumblr or YouTube or whatever you use, um, that, you know, you, you can never like your brain always thinks to itself, well, just one more, just one more, just one more. I wrote about this in turtles all the way down a little bit because it's something that I, um, have experienced and also just heard from from so many people that like 
at night you're on the internet and you're and it's and you're just thinking okay I'll, I'll go to bed after just this or after just that or when it gets to be this time or when it gets to be that time or whatever it is and then you end up really struggling to ever fall asleep um I think the phone is making that problem worse, not better. I understand that you also feel like when I don't have the phone, my body is like crying out um, for the phone. And I know that if I had the phone to distract me, at least I wouldn't be so miserable um, in this moment. And I and I I totally get that. I totally get the urge to like use the phone as a tool for distraction from the kind of like you know, the, the sort of like constant background pain, especially around the dread of like wanting to fall asleep and not know and not being able to and knowing that like the dread is making the not falling asleep worse and then knowing that and then getting angry about not being able to fall asleep, which makes not being able to fall asleep worse. And like all of that, like I have I have I have been in that cycle. I have known and loved people who experienced that cycle. And like it I'm not trying to minimize it in any way. It's terrible. I just don't think the phone is going to help. Um, I think what helps for me, books help or magazines, physical print, because it doesn't shine a light in my eyes while I'm trying to calm my brain down at the end of a day and fall asleep. Um, so that's one thing that helps me. It doesn't help everybody. Um, I mean, I don't read thrillers. I actually did read a thriller a couple nights ago, and I literally stayed up all night. And I, it was fun. I love the book. It's very good. Recommend it. It's called I Am Still Alive. It's super intense. But, oh, oh, Meredith. Meredith, I've, sc I've, I've, I've scored an all-time goal. I've scored an all-time brilliant, once-in-a-lifetime ball John Green. Other John Green to ball John Green. Let's watch it again. Other John Green to ball John Green on the half volley. Kablowie. John Green's John Green's ball. Another John Green's. They love each other and they love our team. Oh, my God. I did it. I'm good at FIFA. I just got good at FIFA. It happened. We're going to go on a winning re streak. We're going to... We're unstoppable now. I'm good at FIFA. Ball John Green just scored a magnificent goal in the dying embers of the first half. I'm good at FIFA. We're up 2-0. Oh my god. This is great. Let's keep going. Let's win by 10. That was a great goal. I'm super proud of myself. So I don't think your phone is helping. I think it's making your sleep worse. I think it will... Uh, the other thing is that it will take time to get into a good sleep pattern, and that time will be painful. Like, I, there's no way around it. Like, there, that time will be difficult. So I, I find... Again, I can't tell you what you're going to find helpful. Um, I, I seriously think it's worth going to the doctor about this or talking to a counselor at school or someone because there's no way sleeping four hours a night that you can be living your best life. Or maybe there is for some people, but not for me. Um, it, like, for me, sleeplessness is such, it, it interferes so dramatically with my quality of life. It makes it so, so difficult for me to be patient. It makes it difficult for me to process information quickly. It just, it, it makes every part of life much harder. And so I, I would encourage you to, to to get serious about your sleep. No matter whether you have the problems. Oh, oh, I mean, I almost scored. I almost scored again. I thought it was going to happen. I thought it was going to be three nil. I, I really think like it is worth focusing on your sleep. It's also, if you're one of the people who can fall asleep, like, um, at will, I please pause and be grateful for that. We often don't pause for, for the, to be grateful for the things that, we just have naturally the things that make our lives easier naturally. Um, I, I hope that we all have at least a few of those things. Pause and be grateful for that if you, if you can fall asleep. Because falling asleep is so hard for so many people. I'm one of them. And it's such a bummer. So I, I, I have a rule. There's no TV in my bedroom. There is, you know, no phones in the bedroom. No, t no, no computers in the bedroom when I'm, when I'm being healthy. It's not always that way. But... You don't want to act like I act when I'm in an obsessive thought spiral, believe me. Um, and and so, and then I, um, yeah. And and I I have I have found that my my sleep has my sleep has gotten better, and that has been better for the rest of my life, dramatically so. 
I also find that exercise during the day makes my sleep better. And so I exercise, try to exercise at least five days a week um, for my sleep and for the rest of my mental health. But it's also interconnected to me. Like I can't, I just can't function correctly when I'm, uh, when I'm in, in, in a period of, uh, what the flippin' heck burger are you doing there, Hodor? Come on! It's a good save, but it's a terrible, terrible, terrible job uh, moving the ball around. All right, we're taking off. We're taking off Liam Trotter because, and we're bringing on Vinny Thrill. Vinny Thrill has been gone for three months with a broken butt, but he's back, and I'm excited. And we're also gonna bring on. Uh, nope, we're not gonna bring on anybody else because well, we're gonna bring on Dean Parrott, and we're gonna put Vinny Thrill out on the edge because he's he he can play out there. A little bit. It's not his preferred position, but whatever. He's coming back after a long butt injury, so he's going to have to play where he, where I want him to. We'll see how he does out there. Maybe he scores a goal, and we'll be like, oh my god, we've got a new left midfielder. But probably not. Uh-oh. 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 You know who's been scoring? <gasps> oh, Hodor. Hodor. That was magnificent. Way to get down. Oh, no. Just kidding. He missed. All right. Well, even better. Even better. Nope, nope, shouldn't have, shouldn't have passed there, but it all worked out better than expected. Then we're going to go there, then we're going to go there, then we're going to cut in. Your sleep will get better. It, I, I, like, I don't think you have to live like this, is the other thing I wanted to say. Because it sounds like it is really, really, at least from your question, it sounds like it's a big bummer and a big problem. And I do, I do want to encourage you that, like, it can get better. It does get better for... For most people. I'm going to try to go up and over. Or am I just going to try to go into the corner? I'm just going to try to go into the corner. Nope. <laughs> well, I'm not that good at FIFA. Still haven't figured out how to take a free kick after 11 years. So, I got that going for me. Oh, boy. What? What? Vinny Thrill! Why did you just fall down? He really doesn't like playing left midfielder, I guess. Man, that was despicable. There we go. Vinny Thrill, out on the wing. Oh, it's the, it's the ball, John Green. Oh, that is a foul, referee. Goodness, that's a yellow card, in my opinion. No, let's let's take it let's take it easy here. Let's go to Deji Oshilaja. I'm telling I'm telling you what I want you to do. Hi. So, um, something weird happened, and I can't hit a button to make something happen. So I'm taking John Green out of the game in the hopes that it's a John Green related problem. And then I'm bringing on, it was not a John Green related problem. I can do everything. I can uh, pause the game. I can uh, change out everything. I can make a substitution, but I cannot play the game. I can't uh, pass or shoot or, I mean, I'm not that good at FIFA, but I do think I remember what buttons do what and I can't do it. However, on the upside, Meredith, if you look in the top left, you will notice the clock is ticking. So I am happy with a 2-0 victory, and I, I will sit the rest of this one out. Believe you me, it doesn't bother me at all, referee. If you want to let this be the rest of the game, that's fine. So, Rama, to return to your question, and, uh, and then we'll cut to the end of the game. I really wish you well, and I'm really sorry that you're going through this. Um, but I, I think that breaking that cycle is going to require some change, as breaking cycles tends to do. So I wish you well. Um, again, please don't hesitate to reach out, get some help if you need it. But good luck. All right. I guess I'll call for a second player and see if that works. That works! See, I can make that guy come over. Can I pass to him? Oh! 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 Oh, we're back! We're back. I, I just had to call for a second player, and then I was about to say best wishes, but no, we are going to score a third goal. It's going to happen. It's happening. It's, it's Update, it's not happening. Okay, yeah, I can take unnecessary slide tackles. Everything is back. Everything is completely back to normal. John Green is there, getting dispossessed in the place where he always gets dispossessed at the top of the box. We're right back to normal, Rama. I w everything, everything looked troubled and impossible, and now it looks... It's still going to be 2-0, isn't it? It's going to be the exact same outcome. That's not nice. Some mice ball to John Green. Cut back. 
Mm, not great. Not what I would have done. Not what I would have done. But it doesn't matter. The game is over. We won 2 0. It was a wild, it was a wild ride, friends. But it all worked out. Oh, that's the old me. I used to look like that, but now I'm an old man, Mr. Managerino. All right, thanks for watching. Best wishes.